Today, we're going to be going on a little adventure together. We're going to be using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, which is their new version, to replicate a writing style based off of writing samples. And then we're going to have it turn that writing style into a custom prompt that you can save in your notes. And that way, you can just convert any writing to any style you want uh, whenever you want. So to start with, I am here in Claude. I am using 3.5 Sonnet, which is their newest, most advanced model. And this is a prompt that I actually stole this part from uh, Rowan Chung, if I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, so I actually published this process before Rowan did. And then he kind of republished it with some tweaks. And I was like, oh, I like that. So I'm going to steal that. So I did steal his prompt. That's what you're seeing in Claude here. And it's got this nice process that's a, a little bit gamified too, where I'm going to feed it these writing samples and it will tell me when it's processed it and then we can move on with it. So uh, I will copy this. I actually have it copied in a reflect note here that I can share with you in the uh, title of the YouTube notes and I'll, I'll credit Rowan for it. Uh, but that's about it. So I'm going to paste this and then I've got my writing samples ready. I'm just going to use mine because I've got a collection of articles here on my website. You can use whatever you want. Uh, just make sure that it's the same person, that it's in the same style. And we're going to see how it does. So let's give it a try. I'm going to hit enter. And if it understood that, then it should. Great. Give me the begin. Okay. So right now I'm going to produce uh, a sample text. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this, which is the most recent article that I've written. And we're just going to copy the whole thing. I'm not going to do the control all copy because I didn't build my website very well. And so well, actually that would probably work pretty well. I don't know if it, I mean, the formatting might be kind of funky, but I, I think it'll be fine. So let me let me let me be lazy and I'll try that. Uh, okay, so here is the first one, and now it basically yeah it should effectively kind of consume that writing sample and then say continue so that we can go through and do these one by one. So I'm gonna do actually I think I'm gonna do all of these and then see what happens. So I'll kind of fast forward through this part and we'll come back after I've done them all. But I'm just gonna do the same thing I just did with that first one. Okay, so I'm back. I've done five writing samples in here, which I think is what's recommended. And then it uh, responded finished when, um, you know, when it, when it kind of finished indexing them. And so now uh, it's going to explore, understand the title, yada, yada, yada. And then um, it's, I'm supposed to prompt it to craft a new piece of writing on a specified topic, uh, emulating that distinctive writing style. Okay, so let's give that a try. Uh, let me do with an article topic. I should have thought of this beforehand. Um, I mean, we could just choose something very vague. Okay, this just popped into my head recently. Let's do one on tech bubbles. So like the dot-com bubble, the AI bubble, the crypto bubble, all of those. Um, so let's say, great, please write me a article about the history of famous tech bubbles in the tone and style of those writing samples I gave. This is going to be really interesting, actually, because I have not tried writing this article before. <laughs> Funny, I put in Notion image. I mean, it's kind of nice, though, because that is actually my style. Not on all of them, like this one doesn't have an image, but if I go back to this, like I do tend to put some kind of image at top. And these are Notion pages, by the way, which is probably why it says Notion page. Um, okay. So this is actually pretty good. So I would actually now take this and then make some light tweak. So I will say whenever I do this, it never seems to get the first sentence right. It always seems to put in some kind of like generic basic intro, like let's take a stroll down memory lane. Like, I don't think that's very good writing. I don't think I would write like that. Um, so you're still going to have to change this. That's why I said it gets you like 7 or 8 out of 10 there. But apart from that, I feel like this is pretty good. So if you want here, you could make some changes. So I could try and instruct it to not use basic phrasing and jargon like that. And I actually would. But for the sake of efficiency, I'm just now going to have it convert this into a prompt. So I'm going to say, that's pretty good. Um, please now convert this into a... Actually, let me say, that's pretty good. Just please don't use basic and common phrases and jargon, especially for the intro. 
the intro should be unique, inspiring, and authentic. Okay, then I'll say now, please convert this into a prompt that I can save and run on any piece of writing to convert it into this exact writing style. The goal should be that I can run this prompt on any article or long form written post. Please write this prompt very well for me. Okay, sorry I had to listen to that, but um, a couple things to mention while it's doing that. So when I did this before, I you can make one that does it for different writing styles so that it does like a uh, an article, a tweet, an email, but it doesn't do each one great. So if you try and cram everything into one prompt, uh, it, it kind of gets messy. So I would recommend basically making this base prompt for articles and then making a new one for like email and social media post if you wanted to for whatever you're going to use. So here you can say it's just got a list of guidelines. That's basically what I wanted. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to save this and then I'm going to copy it. And we're now going to go into reflect and save this as a custom prompt. So, uh, I think I actually have, well, I'll need to go save a writing sample, but first I can kind of save this as a custom prompt. So I'm just going to select any text. Doesn't matter what I select. Um, and then I'm going to say, actually rephrase. So you can see, I've got a couple here. Um, I'm going to copy this rephrase my writing one. I'm going to clone it. Uh, and I'm going to say, rephrase my writing. I already did one in my own tone of voice. So I'll say in Sam Clausen style. And then I'm just going to take this. Uh, actually, oops, wrong box. Let me pull this down. Uh, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to leave the quote and selected text. I'm going to paste that in. Uh, it didn't really retain the list, but I think that's fine. Um, I need to delete this part. Oh, wait. Yeah, we don't need that. So I probably should give it an intro. Please rewrite the selected text in the voice and style of the following guidelines. Great, I'm going to save that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find a writing sample, or I'll probably just generate a bad article with AI. And then I'll come back here and we'll run the prompt on it, see how it goes. Okay, so what I've done is I've <laughs> generated an intentionally bad article uh, using ChatGPT. I told it to write an article like a high schooler. <laughs> um, and I also put this bad article in here because I didn't want to look back in my notes later and be like, what the hell did I write? Um, but we'll see how the rewriting goes. Maybe I'm going to want to keep this and publish it. So uh, I'm going to select this and then we're going to look for our writing. Um, so we're going to do rephrase my writing in Sam Clausen style. And we'll see how it does here. Okay, it's definitely better. That's a lot better. This is a lot better. So like if I were to read this, let me replace it. I'm not sure that I would, no, I definitely wouldn't read this and be like, oh my God, that's my own tone of voice. But it definitely got seven, eight out of 10 of the way there. Um, and there's always going to be things you need to change. So don't treat this as just like a one stop, you know, it's going to spit out a beautiful article. But now I can just kind of do this in my notes. And it works particularly well when I adapt this for email and whatnot. And those are a lot of the times the ones that you're going to rewrite. And it doesn't really matter if it sounds like a philosopher. <laughs> Um, so I think this is really valuable. I'm going to be testing this with doing a bunch of different writing styles so that I can just kind of quickly rewrite text and different things. And I'll be kind of sharing those workflows. So give it a try. Feed it the writing samples. I think the most important parts are using cloud and then having really good writing samples. So, uh, give it a whirl. Let me know how it goes.